good morning. My name is Gary Britland. I'm at St James's Church, church near Accrington, Lancashire. And uh, we're going to have a look at some of the graves inside the graveyard. And there's quite a few industrialists of this area. Uh, they were huge in the Lancashire Industrial Revolution. Uh, so we're just going to see who's in there and then later describe some of the mills that they own. Thank you. Behind me is the grave of William Duckworth and he played a big part in Lancashire's Industrial Revolution and he made a lot of money and he's buried here in church near Accrington, Lancashire. He was born in 1815 and died in 1888. He lived uh, at Springfield House Church on Henry Street uh, next to Joseph Barnes which is buried further along and uh, he was an apprentice shoemaker uh, and then a grocer and then a pawnbroker and uh, he owned quite a few mills in this area uh, he had a first he had a mill at Jack House, Ozzle Twistle called the Annis Mill with a Mr Joseph Green in 1851 he also had uh, the canal mill called the Shoddy which is further down the road Shoddy means waste spinning and uh, it's still used, the term is still used today as in uh, a shoddy piece of work that's where it comes from, it's old English and uh, another mill he owned was Primrose Mill which is a massive mill which was right across the canal uh, from Canal Mill uh, also he had a mill across here which uh, was Church Bank but is laid uh, here just behind me and uh, as you can see it's quite a big grey store uh, thank you this is the site which was church bank mill built by william duckworth in 1881 uh, and the canal runs just at the end uh, where they could load the produce onto and um, it was owned by William Duckworth and his sons and uh, it had 936 looms powered by a 350 horsepower horizontal cross compound engine belt drive by Ashton by Ashton Frost Company and Limited. Um, steam was powered raised by Anderton boilers By 1889, and there was then a hundred, and there was then a thousand and forty-eight looms were producing fine skirtings and cambrics. In 1894, the shed was leased to Richard Thompson and Co. of Accrington Limited, and then later, in 1919, the Greenwood family became owners of the business and they carried on with uh, skirtings and cambrics. In 1920s, fabrics like aeroplane cloths, artificial silks, twills, poplins and cambrics were made uh, with 350 people employed at the business. Barlow and Greenwood later ceased in 1960 uh, the brothers sold to Masterbar Mining Equipment and Company. Mining, uh, Masterbar Mining, they made uh, apparatus uh, for the mining industry, belts and fasteners, and uh, roof supports also. Uh, these uh, houses behind me look quite well, and there's about 47, they were built by Gleasons. Uh, just after it was demolished at 2018 and uh, it's quite uh, a very nice site. Thank you.
This was the site of Canal Mill uh, in 1855, built by William Duckworth. Uh, it was a waste spinning mill called the Shoddy and uh, in 1859 the mill was enlarged and in 1870 it housed 5,000 mule spindles and 300 looms so it's quite a large mill uh, it was weaving printings and skirtings it was powered by a beam engine compounded in uh, 1874 uh, it was owned by WJ and Yates and uh, there was it was the size was 18 inch by 34 inch by 5 foot stroke after William Duckworth died in 1888 his sons carried on uh, with the mill uh, and sold it later to Smith Barnes and James Rothwell uh, waste spinners of Accrington uh, in 1908 a new engine was installed by SS Stott of Haslinden and uh, it was increased to 9,180 spindles and 329 looms. In 1919 it was owned by George Burke of Blackburn with uh, Herbert Noble, W.J. Clayton and Lawrence Whitaker. In 1968, uh, Condenser Spinners Limited, Rothborn Limited, owned it and they were commission winders and beamers. In 1992, Barnes Rothwell went into voluntary liquidation. Later, the mill was demolished. Uh, only the side wall remains today, which is along the side of the canal. Thank you. This is Bridge Street Church, Accrington, Lancashire and this site is a very industrial site and was in Lancashire's Industrial Revolution. Uh, this site was where Primrose Mill was. It was built in 1855 by Benjamin Bury. chemical manufacturer of church and they own quite a lot of premises in the area uh, it was leased to William Duckworth and J and J Pillin and J and E Dugdale and others on a room and power basis basically a uh, commercial lease and uh, in 1871 uh, J and E Riley owned the mill until 1879 and in 1882 George and Joseph Duckworth owned the mill and uh, leased it trading as Primrose Mill Company. In 1884 John Whitaker owned it and made improvements uh, including installing an engine called the Ashton Frost engine and you can actually see the gear wheel uh, in Accrington on Skatecliffe Street. and uh, it was a cross horizontal compound engine uh, 17 inch and 35 and 5 eighths of an inch 4 foot 6 inch stroke, stroke. it was a 350 horsepower engine uh, 16 foot diameter flywheel which was huge uh, in 1886 uh, it was a weaving shed and it was enlarged to hold a thousand looms in 1891 the Indian Mill Company was formed uh, of Clayton and uh, they had 680 looms uh, and leased part of it and uh, the other part was leased uh, in 1903 by the Whit brothers of Clitheroe and ran the complete mill uh, so they must have bought the mill. 
1912 the Wick Company left and sold to A.R. Gradwell of Church making muslins, airships and fabrics, poplins and silks. The mill closed in 1930 after trading depression and in 1931 it was sold to W.F. Chambers and Sons making industrial surgical cloth. Um, later after the firm closed due to government reorganisation of the cotton industry. In the 1950s Smith and Nephew held a lot of shares and owned the company. Um, also it was owned by Chambers family. Uh, they formed Edgar Davis Surgicals uh, in 1959. Uh, and it carried on doing that sort of uh, business. In 1892 weaving ended but merchanting business carried on until 1983. Um, in 1985 sadly the mill uh, was demolished. Well a lot of people in this area worked at that mill, uh, it was quite a large mill and it ran all down this side uh, of this, this wall. Uh, it's now owned by McMurray's Haulage uh, and they hold lots of lorries on this land uh, and still it's a very busy site. Thank you.